Hey guys, this is Mike Cricket 113 and uh, I just wanted to do a little short video here on uh, SWR and power meters. All right, this one here, sorry about the shaky cam. One of these days I'll get a decent camera and not use my iPhone, huh? But whatever, information is information. Uh, this is an MFJ 870. This is a HF uh, SWR and watt meter um it's a great analog uh meter this is a grandmaster uh through mfj and i believe brand new i think they are selling for uh anywhere between 75 to 125 dollars uh i've looked them up on ebay amazon and you can find one used on eBay, uh, but um, I suggest getting one new. Or if you're going to buy one used, at least if you you can buy one from a friend, which is how I got this one, someone I trust. So anyway, <clears throat> you have on here your peep, your peak power, and your average power. You got your forward power, your reverse, which is your reflection through your coax, what's coming down from the antenna, depending on what your SWR is. You have your SWR set. Uh, this tells you what your SWR is, and you want to try to keep that. Let me uh, come into this a little bit. Below, see the three there at the top? You want to keep that below a three. Anything over a three, you're pretty much going to burn your radio. The power that you're sending to your antenna is going to come back through the coax, hence the reverse section, and possibly burn up your radio. <laughs> a little quick story about that. Uh, when I was a little kid, I had no idea what SWR was, standing wave ratio. Uh, you're ignorant. You have no idea. So you, you get your, uh, your uncle or your dad's CB, and you hook it up to a mag mount he might have had laying around, or maybe a 48-inch uh, a whip you know, that truckers use, and you're like, all right, I'm on the air, you know, I'm talking, and yeah, you might have, it might have been okay, uh, you have no idea, but I didn't know, didn't have an SWR meter, uh, until my neighbor, who is an avid CBer, told me that, hey, you got to get yourself a meter, so, uh, I'm going to pull this into the frame, uh, this one here is a Radio Shack one I got, like, 30 years ago, it's got your field strength and your SWR tester, and basically the same uh, same little uh, calibration screen there. Uh, anything below a 1.5 is uh, is great. I mean, if you if your station if your antenna I'm sorry is uh, you know you're getting below a two and that's all you can do and you've tried everything you tried adjusting it and m moving it to a different spot moving your coax around and that's all you can get then then fine i mean you're you're putting out around a two you're putting out about 85 percent uh power out of the radio but if you can get it lower than that then great you know uh a one to one which is uh pretty much barely having that needle move is what you're looking for uh but uh if you can't then uh you just you just got to keep trying uh I gotta keep trying because uh, when I show you the uh, the Grandmaster here, uh, how that works in a minute here, uh, I got a uh, Falcon horizontal dipole hooked up to it for right now in the attic, and uh, I was trying my hardest to get that SWR a little lower, <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to get some new coax to it because right, <clears throat> excuse me guys. Sorry, right now I'm gonna have I, I have like 16 feet of coax on there, uh, RG58, which is eh, it's good for the car, but it's not good for in the house. It was just like a temporary situation, just so I can get on the air real quick. Because uh, I put my uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to lower this uh, lamp here for a second so you can see. I put my McKinley in here, uh, and I missed talking on uh, sideband, so I figured I hooked the Falcon up to it, which is horizontal. Uh, it's a wire dipole, and that's really good for skip. Uh, it basically, your uh, radiation pattern off a horizontal dipole uh, versus a vertical, uh, your radiation pattern is pretty much going straight up in the air, uh, aiming for that ionosphere, and then uh, bouncing off 
and hopefully going somewhere else. So uh, let me uh, turn that light back on so you can see. Sorry about the shakiness. Um, so I got it on my local channel here. So I'm going to put the uh, average power on just so you see for power. And I'm going to key up. Now, the average only shows you the average. It doesn't show you the swing. And uh, so I'm going to key up the mic here. And you can see the uh, the, the needle go up to about, what does that say? Like 8 eight watts, thereabouts. So through that half-wave uh, antenna, just dead keying, um, dead keying 8 watts. Okay? And now we hit the button for peep. And we're going to talk into it. So if I dead key, it's still going to the same spot. This is Mike Cricket 113, 113, Southeastern Pennsylvania. Southeastern Pennsylvania. Audio. So you see with that uh, audio that most people do, it went up to about 22 watts. So the swing was up to 22 watts. I'm sure you could... Someone could tell you why it does that, but with uh, amplitude modulation, that pretty much means that your voice, uh, your voice, there's the carrier wave, but then uh, in order to get your, to be heard out there, you need to, you need to speak into it. And the louder you speak into it, the better off you are. Now, I'm not suggesting you scream into the mic and uh, over modulate yourself, which is, can be done. And then the, on the other end of the radio, somebody is not going to be able to hear you down the road. But uh, I kind of have a, uh, a quiet voice sometimes, so I use a, uh, an A-Static Road Devil here. This is a, uh, uh, a power mic. It has a 9-volt battery in it, and uh, on the side here, well, I have it turned up all the way there for some reason, but on the side there, you could adjust uh, the volume on the, uh, the gain, I should say, on the mic, uh, and then if you have gain on your mic gain on your radio, you'll have to adjust uh, that as well. And it helps to either get another radio to hear yourself on the other end, or if your radio has talk back, then that could be helpful to uh, calibrate your voice levels uh, so you aren't clipping or over modulating. This is a, this is a pretty good, uh, good mic. It's, uh, it's noise canceling. You know, if you're in the car, or the truck, or whatever, so you don't hear the the wind and the engine noise, but uh, but also amplifies your voice, so you could speak at a normal tone, but still come out of uh, you know you know your signal is going to come out a little louder, so that helps, and that that matches up really well with uh, the president radios, uh, but you will need to get a uh, adapter. This adapter is a six pin to four pin adapter because the a static is a uh, four pin mic and most like your cobra uh microphones are four pin um some of the uh what do you call it some of the uh Uden mics are four pin so you'll need to get an adapter uh because president's mics are uh six pin because it has a up and down i think i have the original here uh there we go it's a Here's the president mic there, your stock mic that comes with most of your president radios. Uh, it's got the up and down on there key, so you could change the channels. Uh, let me see here, let me show you. That, sorry, that light is... Uh, let me see if I could brighten this. Dimmer, there we go. That's not going to help because I got a light right there. But either way, there we go. I'll shut that off so you can see. So basically, it by hitting the up and down button, it will change the channels for you. So when you're driving, you don't have to worry about looking down at your screen to change your channels. So anyway, you want to get the adapter. You can pick one of these up for like two bucks on, on eBay or Amazon. Uh, also here, I have a external speaker. It's an MFJ. Uh, it's an 8-watt speaker. That's really good. I have that hooked up to my ham radio right now. So I could uh, hear everybody really good. But back to this thing. I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. That's what happens when you have ADD, right? But anyway, uh, so I showed you 
how the average power is shown and how the uh, peak power is shown. And then you also have your, uh, your, your wattage uh, uh, switch here. I have it set to 30 watts. So the, uh, be using this bottom scale here from zero to 30. And you notice when I was doing that audio test, it was up to 20, 22. But normal speaking was around like, I don't know, 14 to 18. But if you're, uh, if you're using a kicker or something, depending on what that kicker's uh, output is, uh, you know, if you're using, say, a 100 or 200 watt kicker, you want to use the 200 or the 300 scale, which you would put there. And if you're using uh, a kilowatt or more, uh, up to three kilowatts, you would use that scale. So let's just, I'll just show you on the 300 scale, which would be the, uh, the second line here, this one here, okay? Uh, you won't see my needle go maybe to that. That would be uh, 10, and there would be 20, and then 30. I don't think you're going to see it. You won't see it any past 30, of course, but uh, let's give it a go. Audio. Audio. All right, so it's just below the 20, so probably like 18 watts or something like that. But this is why I use the lower one, which is the lower uh, where the power is above the power of the lower line. Audio. Audio. Testing. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, there we go there. All right, so let's do the SWR test. And like I said, this my SWR isn't going to be the, uh, the, the lowest because I'm still tweaking this thing. But anyway, just so you know, you switch the dial over to SWR test, and you're going to want to calibrate the needle. So... I'm going to test on channel 24, which is uh, 27.235 megahertz. This here is your SWR set, min and max range. So, whoops, what you're going to want to do, I don't know if I could do this while I'm, uh, <laughs> we'll do the best we can. What you want to do is key, key up the mic, okay? And you want to set the needle right about there to the calibration line. See that? See how the red needle is right on the line for the black line there? Okay? So now that you have the dial set to where you need to be, you unkey, needle goes back to zero, and you switch it to SWR, and that's gonna give your standing wave ratio. So, <laughs> I mean, let's see what happens here, guys. So on channel 24, uh, 27.235 megahertz, my SWR is, and I'll key up the mic. Uh, what do we got there? 1.8-ish. Okay, let me get straight on there. 1.8-ish, maybe 1.9. Really not that good. But it's better than what it was when I first hooked it up. So, um, yeah, we'll fix that eventually. But, uh, you know, having an SWR meter is very, very important. You always want to check your uh, your connections and uh, check to see that, you know, you have a good ground, uh, especially in the car, you know. If, if you have a mag mount, uh, the other end of the ground for the mag mount is pretty much your car, the metal surface that you have the antenna, if it's a mag mount, obviously, uh, attached to. If it's surface mount... If you're, if you are going to drill and, you know, if you're going to drill a hole, if you have a car, for instance, or a truck and you want to, uh, well, a truck's a little easier, but if, if you're going to hook up an antenna permanently to your truck, whether you're using a, uh, you know, a, uh, drilling through the, through the, the roof, or you have a mount for it, a special, uh, amount for it for your vehicle, make sure you, uh, you scratch off some of that metal or the paint. I'm sorry to get down the bare metal, so you so you make a good ground. Now I understand with a mag mount is what I have. Uh, no, I did not scratch away the the paint. I do not suggest it. Uh, but uh, you can get a decent uh, SWR with a mag mount. Uh, I have uh, my uh, Striker SR A10 out there is. Uh, I pretty much have a one to one, one to two, depending on what frequency. Um, 
But you, yeah, you want to make sure you check your SWR. Get yourself a meter, whether it's uh, a Grandmaster like this, or they have digital meters. Uh, they have uh, digital meters with a power meter. They have uh, the little ones like this. MFJ sells them. I know this is a Radio Shack. Radio Shack stores really don't exist anymore. Uh, but, you know, they also have these. These are digital. I don't have this one hooked up, but this is a digital. This is a MFJ A26B. Uh, it will give you the precise, accurate, down to the decimal point uh, frequency counter. It's SWR and power. It will give you your average and your peak. It will give you, uh, it also has an uh, alarm if you're SWR for any reason, whether your antenna gets blown down in the wind or whatever, God forbid. Uh, it will give you an alarm that your SWR has spiked to uh, dangerous limits, so you'll know to shut down your station. Um, this is another option you can get. These run from anywhere between, uh, I don't know, like 85 to maybe well you know what i've seen used ones for 55 on ebay uh but brand new uh you know i've seen them go for 202 dollars, which i think is price gouging but um you know there's all sorts of options and this is kind of big i mean you can see this is like you know six by six this one's a little trimmer i'd say it's like seven or so by four and a half uh but you know they even have ones that will hook up that are really small and will give you a digital readout of your power, your SWR, your forward and reflective, you know, and uh, things have gotten a lot smaller these days. These are a little older models, but they still sell them. I do want to get another one, Grandmaster like this, but this is for HF, mind you, so ham radio operators and CBers can use it from 1.6 megahertz to 60 megahertz. Um, I want to get a uh, UHF, VHF uh, model of the Grandmaster um, through MFJ. I really like this one compared to the uh, digital one. Uh, I guess uh, old school with that. I like the dial. I like to see it. Uh, <laughs> I like to see it moving when, uh, when I'm talking on it. So uh, let me just show you here. Let's see what that reflective power is since we got it keyed up to this spot. So yeah, um, hmm. So about a watt. Eh, yeah, it depends on your angle, right? I got about a watt coming back, and then the forward, as you know, it's about eight watts or so. So maybe seven watts are going out. I'm not really sure. You have to look and see what Manuel say uh, to. Uh, to determine that I'm just learning all this stuff guys I'm not a pro I'm not saying I am uh, I know a lot it's good to uh, share information with everybody uh, everybody's got knows a little bit about something and uh, I really encourage you to you know if you have friends that are into radio to to learn from each other um, and that's the way we all learn you know by sharing information so just wanted to show you guys about uh, SWR meters and uh, why they're important. And uh, I hope everybody has a good day. I know this was a long video. I know I talked a lot, but uh, you know it's uh, it's worth it's worth talking about things. And uh, have a good one. All right. This is Mike Cricket one one three, and I'll be clear.